I know that guy. Felix Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship? His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? This is my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. And the cops turned up and started treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, the cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. Felix, that morphine is turning up everywhere. People are dying. You got something you want to tell me? I'm a bus driver. Do I look like I run a dope racket? Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? Felix, we didn't go through Okinawa to come back to this on our streets. I've got the LAPD to keep me safe, right? Me and all my people. We'll be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack is in L.A.? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. I'm sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, detective. Pretty cool customer. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Not for a minute. All these people in Vulture's office. I can tell you what's going on. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. Jack Kelso, apartment four, 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thanks. You're behind the wheel. Fine, where are we headed? You should tell me what's going on. Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. It won't work. He's a tough customer. Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. How have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. Pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. Level with me, Jack. Some of the guys stole that dope. Eddie McGoldrick, there's your man. Case closed. Can I go now? Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. You want to take a guess where he got hold of the cash? Not really. You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. 
I saw Felix Alvaro today. Good. How was he? A little pale. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 BAR rounds into the bus he was driving. A public bus in the middle of Hollywood. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? Count me out. What do you know about the Army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Jack, we just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with his $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Shooting Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majewski. Another name from the manifest? How many more friends of yours are going to get plugged today? Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. We go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. They just walked up and shot the man. Two of them officers, they went that way. Go on, get after him. Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. Hit him. Clear this asshole off the road. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. I'll try for the tires. Keep your foot down. Get in close and steer him off the tar. An LAPD file. We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list 
have a hit team assigned to them. Cohen is meeting with Sheldon tonight. We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. We have to look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brent Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can't someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. Mayor, District Attorney. Who is this guy? And what does he want, Horrell? Name's Roy Earl, Detective, Administrative Vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop, a hero from the war, who has let his beautiful wife and kids down who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore, who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD and his commitment to the public, we all serve. Should be all over the papers by tomorrow, and you would be off the hook. So what do you want in return, Roy? Fingering a fellow officer? I'm stumped. Ideas? The post office, call and be quick about it. You can drive. Where are we going? They're taking out all the guys from the ship. Why? How does that get them the dope? They obviously don't know who has the morphine, and they're waiting for someone to crack. Tell Courtney, B bad luck. <coughs> it was worth a try. It was worth a try.
or whether it was worth it. Most people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it? All clear, detective. Go to work. They weren't even his prints, and he still confessed. Roy, we're in a hurry. Not right now. Looks like Sheldon is bringing his own fire team with him. Majewski, Beckett, Goldrick, Driscoll, these are good guys. Why did they get wrapped up in this thing? Not everyone has your unwavering restraint in the face of temptation, Cole. Get a move on, Roy. Hoo ah. Yeah, as soon as I'm finished. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Do we know where we're going? This isn't looking good. I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here. Getting close and steer him off the tar. I can't take the shot from here, Cole. Hit him. Clear this asshole off the road. Keep it steady, and I'll try to bust his tires. Such a Help thing me as out. Soap, you know. You watch the Ham and Galahad fight. Some mess that was. Can you drive to this one? That's the cop that caught. All right, where to?
some goddamn cover! I'm gonna put out an APB on every one of the sons of bitches on that. APB Alpha Car 11K, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. 11K, go to Hollywood Station. Hey, Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct protocol, 11K. I'll take that as a roger. Car 11 King en route. You're behind the wheel. <laughs> this guy must have escaped the loony bit. Roy, in my office, if you please. I'm working a major case. I'm that close, Cap. It's gonna have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But, Cap. No buts. This is more important. This is 1947, not I said we bust in there and find the goddamn man. Out. You're in interview too, Phelps. Sheldon, is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the Cool Ridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh, that's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult, considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me, Phelps. You're lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up, or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? We know about your showdown with Cohen. We found notes on your guys. Cohen is hitting our old dude. He believes we have the morphine. I told him that we don't have it. And that's the truth. Isn't it, Doc? I believe, Mr. Sheldon. I think he's telling the truth, Detective. You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes, that's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. So Eddie McGoldrick took his cut and bought the 111 Club. I... I don't know what Eddie is, but... Have you finished, Detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor, good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office, now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty, pending a fitness review. 
What are you talking about? You heard the man, Phelps. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you were. You certainly had us fooled, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on? You're suspended, Phelps. Hand over your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures. Left. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife. Your children. Consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun. Keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you thinking? Listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave. You're upsetting the girls. Let me see them, Marie. They're my daughters. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? For God's sake, Marie. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney and you will be hearing from him. I'd like to explain, Maria. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole. 